Hi everyone, Jerry Cavallaro here with your day four update of the 2010 Orlando Film Festival. Uh, yesterday was a pretty busy day. It started off with a tour, uh, started around 10.30. Uh, we had to meet downstairs at, in the hotel, the Sinesta Hotel lobby, for a, a, to get on the tour bus for the Universal Studios production backlot tour, uh, which the festival got like a bunch of the filmmakers together. So we got a little production book. Uh, we got to tour the back lots and talk to some of the people there. We also got to visit the Dave School, uh, which is a school for visual arts. And it's uh, really just a really cool tour. It was very fascinating. We got to tour uh, like where they, do, where they do some of the little lottery and uh, where Family Feud is shot. And uh, it's really cool that the roller coasters actually go right through it because it's like right by Universal Studios. So, uh, like, the Rip Rocket roller coaster goes through, like, one part of the production facility, which was awesome. Um, just, it was a very interesting tour. I got to learn a little bit about how uh, production is done down here in Orlando. It's similar to the tour that we did last year, although the, um, this year it was just Universal Studios, so we got to explore a little bit more of Universal Studios. We weren't going to as many places. Uh, and we also got to eat on the, uh, the back lot, which is cool. Uh, when we got back from that... We, uh, well, I, um, we, we ran around, we went to get lunch, and then we had to go, we went to, uh, we had to get some stuff at Target, which we ended up buying tons of, uh, Halloween candy at discount prices, so that'll perk us up for the trip back, so that was good. Uh, we got some really good deals, some really good candy and stuff that I really should not be eating. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's for the ride back, though. After that, we headed back to the Plaza Cinema Cafe so we could start doing uh, some setup for the award ceremony. Yesterday was the awards, uh, day four was the awards for the uh, for for the festival, and we got to I, they they gave out all the awards they, uh, on the stage outside, which is really cool. They had some live music throughout the day. We got to co catch the last performer. Uh, Avery, and she was actually really good. I, I enjoyed her. I especially liked her last song. Uh, she's 15 years old, and she has a fantastic voice. She's, I really think she's going places. She was really good. And uh, I didn't miss the, uh, the previous performers, so, but hopefully they were as good. Uh, we, uh, th th they started setting up for the awards, which I had to be there. We, we filmed the award ceremony, first of all, for everyone. But also I had to be there because I had to present the award for... Orlando Film Festival Independent Spirit Award because this year it was called the Jerry Cavallaro Independent Spirit Award. So I had to pass that on and I passed it on to the guys that had made the film Not Even the Devil. So again, congratulations guys. Uh, I have to see the film. I, I still really want to see it. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud of you guys. You did a great job promoting the film. You did a great job making the film. The whole film was made for $2,000. So you really had the DIY do it yourself you know, punk attitude that, uh, that this award's all about, so congratulations to you guys. So, uh, yeah, after the award ceremony, we, uh, we went upstairs to, and set up in our little press room that, we, that we've uh, kind of commandeered, the art gallery of the theater, and we, we, so we set up our press room again, and we just started doing interviews, and again, as people were passing by, and they're like, you want to, can you interview us? So we were like, okay. And we just interviewed a ton of people, and uh, what was really cool is our final interview, our interviews, we were like, oh, we'll just do it till like, nine, ten o'clock, and then we ended up doing the interviews till like, a little bit past midnight, which was crazy, but one of our final interviews was with uh, Heather Henson, uh, Jim Henson's daughter, and she was at the festival promoting the Puppet Festival, and it was really cool, we got to meet her, and she was really fascinating to talk to, and uh, so, yeah, we, we have all that on tape, we're gonna, we'll be posting that soon. And then after that, we finally made it to one of the after parties. Every night this week, we've been missing the after parties. So we finally made it to an after party last night. Although we missed uh, Edwin McCain, who performed uh, at the start of the after party. We got there right after he uh, sang, which uh, if any of you don't know, he sings I'll Be, and I could not, uh, could not ask for more. And, uh, yeah, so, unfortunately, we, we missed that, but we, we did get to hang out at the after party for a little bit. We walked Heather Henson over, and it uh some interesting things happened on the way, which I got on tape, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll be showing that later. So it was just overall, it was a really good day, very busy, but it was a lot of fun. And I'm um, looking forward, I can't believe Day 5 is already here, the end of the festival, but looking forward to Day 5, and uh, I'll be posting a video update tomorrow to 
let you all know what happened. So thanks for watching, and uh, again, if you're at the festival, be sure to say hi.